So the graded pieces of your work are the discussions, the quizzes, the midterm, and the final, right? The midterm and the final, again, are just first half, second half tests. Um, in each of those, I want to point out, you will be allowed to have one page of notes, eight and a half inches by 11 inches, both sides. Um, one page, not two pages, one side each, one page each side. Okay. So anyway, um, the grading, um, the percentages are given there on the syllabus, 30% for the final, 30% for the midterm. Uh, I can't remember. Quizzes are uh, 30 percent and 10 percent for the discussions. Um, so calculate your grade like that um, and then turn it into a letter grade based on essentially 90, 80, 70, ABC kind of thing. Um, if there's any disability accommodations, um, please um, let me know. The Disability Support Service, Disability Services Support Office, whatever, that's not the right name uh, here on Wacom, uh, is a very great place. Um, they would contact them they'll get the right paperwork going for you they'll contact me to let me know what uh, what we need to do if you need to take tests in the testing center that's fine um, there's a lot of different things that we've accommodated for and we're happy to do so if uh, you get me the right paperwork so anyway that's through the disability support service office um, and there's they're in LDC 116 there's phone numbers uh, to contact them so um, yeah, there's just expectations. Um, one, I expect you to participate. Um, math is not a spectator sport. You gotta, you gotta do it. You can watch me all day. I'm gonna make it look simple. Um, but I've practiced. I've been doing this for years, and uh, I've put in the hours to make it easy. Um, you've got to start putting in those hours. You gotta participate. Participate in the discussion boards. Ask your questions. Answer when you can. Um, anyway, academic honesty, you should do your own work. It does not do you any good at all to have someone else doing your work. Um, yeah, you might think you've got a grade and you passed and move on to the next class, but come the day when you actually need to use this stuff, um, you're not going to be able to do it. Um, so do your own work. Um, there's... various penalties for those who don't do their own work. They're spelled out in your student handbook. I have dealt with cheating before. Um, I will again if I have to. Just don't make me have to do your own work. Um, so there's a few other things here that I need to mention. Um, the Watcom has this early alert referral system that they've started a couple years ago. Um, so if I'm noticing certain students are not participating, not logging in to the class, um, looking like they're needing some help, getting getting going, um, I might refer you to this system, in which case there's a lot of support that comes in uh, to, to help you out and make sure that you're going to be successful in this class. Um, so anyway, just to let you know that I might, in the event that I think uh, I have a student that really is going to need help might not know where to go looking for it, um, I will refer to this um, early alert system to try to help you out. Um, places to get help. Well, the Math Center certainly is a good drop-in tutoring spot. Um, student, you know, academic advising office uh, downstairs in LDC um, is a wonderful place to get all kinds of help. Um, not so much of the technical math help, but if you have other issues um, that you need to talk about. There's counselors and, and advisors down there. But go to the math center to get math help and you'll have um, fellow students who've taken this course before and uh, they can help you out. Of course you can always come to my office for help but anyway. The math center is in Cascade uh, 113. Um, there's some office, there's some hours listed there. Um, the hours change depending on the time of the quarter. They around midterms and finals time, they try to beef up the staff a little bit and get a few more hours in there for people to get help. Um, the Learning Center uh, has tutors um, beyond just math. Uh, they have the Writing Center and all that kind of stuff too. Uh, E-tutoring, there's 
online tutoring available through the eTutoring Consortium. There's links to this here. I although we've been Wacom has been a part of this for years. I don't know that I've ever had a student tell me, oh yeah, I use that. But it's there. I put it out there. If you need help, there's places to get help. Um, anyway, communication guidelines. Um, we in this course, you as students, me as individuals, we just individuals, what am I? Me as the instructor, each of us as individuals is an asset, a help to the rest of us. Um, treat your fellow students with respect. Uh, treat me with respect. I will do the same. Um, we're here to learn. You're here to learn. I, uh, I'm the teacher. I still learn every time. Um, I very much enjoy teaching uh, because I learn so much. Um, so be courteous to your to your fellow classmates. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna help you. You're gonna help them. Well, let's see, I think I have mentioned here you're encouraged to uh, work with each other on the homework through the discussion boards. However, the quizzes should be done uh, individually without communication uh, with others. Okay. To contact me, please use the messaging system through WAMAP or use my email or give me a call. Um, uh, I am here almost all day, uh, every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Fridays are a little bit uh, different. I don't have any classes that I teach on Friday from time to time I have some meetings that I got to come in for so I'm a little less available on Friday but I do still check in from home on Fridays to make sure that uh, that if people need to talk to me they can uh, weekends mm, I don't work on the weekends so it's it's trickier to get in touch with me there's times where I still check in to make sure but uh, it's less likely so start your work early in the week uh, don't leave it all till the end um, because you'll have better access to me um, in, earlier in the week. Um, so anyway, uh, I should always try to get back to you uh, within 24 hours uh, during the week. Weekends, of course, uh, for response time will be slower. Okay, I mentioned already that there'll be two in-class um, things that I'm going to ask people to come onto campus, either. The hope is to get as many people as possible together at the October 27th and the December 7th dates. Uh, those that have conflicts with that, we will work with you to find um, alternatives. Um, technology, of course, is an online class. You've got to have internet access. Uh, also, there's times when you may want to have a camera or scanner for turning in some things or you've done some work and you want to show it to us, uh, to me. Um, uh, so some sort of camera scanner is quite often useful uh, in posting things uh, to get help. Um, inclement weather procedure? Yeah, what if we have a snow day uh, and the college is closed? I don't see how weather affects us pretty much at all. Um, just because the college is closed doesn't mean we have to stop an online class. Um, however, I do uh, understand and recognize that some people don't have internet access from their home and they have to travel either to a library or into the college here to get access. Um, in that event, uh, we will certainly work with people um, if time is missed and they can't get online uh, because of because of the weather. But for the most part, I figure it doesn't it doesn't affect us. Um, then we have the affirmation of inclusion. Um, we will do our utmost to not discriminate um, based on pretty much anything. Um, you should feel welcome. Uh, mathematics is, it doesn't make any difference what culture you are, what gender you are, what gender preference you are, how old you are. Math is the same. Two plus two is four. Um, and we should all be able to, to do it in a respectful way and, and, uh, and work with each other, no matter who we are. So anyway, there is the syllabus. Oh, no, there's a little bit more of the syllabus. You keep scrolling down to the bottom of the syllabus. You will find the calendar. This is a calendar of essentially, if I were going to teach this face to face, this would be the, the, the speed at which I do it. It matches very closely to um, how the WAMAP page is set up week one 
has covers sections 2.2 and 2.3. Week 2, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6. All right, and the quizzes are on those things. If I were face to face, I would give you this quiz on a Friday. Um, since it's online, the quiz actually appears, shows up on WAMAP on a Wednesday, and you have until the following Sunday to get it done. The one exception to that, well, a couple exceptions. Week six is the midterm week. There is no quiz during that week because we're taking uh, that test on this day, October 27. Um, likewise, let's see, the final. Likewise, there's no quiz during finals week. That's when we do the final. The other thing, week nine is actually here two weeks long because there's Thanksgiving. So, um, so as you're going through the course and you see it organized by week 10 through week 11, where this quarter actually has 12 weeks. Uh, week nine is a long one. I just lump these two days, um, Monday and Tuesday, into the previous week, uh, and then you got that long weekend for Thanksgiving. Uh, quiz nine will actually be due at the end of that week. Uh, so Sunday, that must be the 27th, right, uh, on that week nine quiz. So anyway, there's, uh, there's the calendar. Um, it gives you a good idea of how to pace yourself, what sections you might be uh, looking at each day. Um, I have an indication, essentially, of I think if it's a two-day topic or you know a one-day topic. Uh, just keep yourself paced. Right? If you have any questions, please contact me, um, and we will uh, endeavor to answer as many as I can. So it's going to be a great class. Uh, I just love the the content here of Calc One. Um, lots of good new stuff that you've never done before. Uh, it's always exciting. So, love a good quarter.